Hello everyone, good evening once again. Hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to learn one of the easiest method for multiplication by using lines, just lines. So let's take an example. First example, multiply 13 with 21. So 13 cross 21, what's the answer? We can do it by using just drawing the lines. So first digit here is 1, second is 3, third one is 2 and fourth one is 1. So you just simply draw line. Here it is, first digit is 1. So let's draw first. Here it is, line number 1. Second number is 3. So draw 3 lines. 1, 2 and 3. Got it? 1, 3. Now next digit is 2. So draw 2 lines. 1 and 2. Now draw only one line. Fourth digit is 1. So now let's calculate the number of crossing. That's it. So we divide this into three equal zones. For this is first zone. Zone number 1. Zone number 2. And zone number 3. Just count the number of crossing. Let's start here. 1, 2 and 3. So this is 3. Zone 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So 7. And here it is 2. So this is the answer. 2, 7, 3. You can calculate by using calculator. That's it. I know you guys will love this method. This is the easiest method I have ever learned. Okay, so let's take another example. So suppose we are taking th uh, 32 cross 12. So what's the multiplication? 32 cross 12. Okay, so first digit is 3. Your first digit is 3. So first of all, draw 3 lines. Okay. So we will draw 3 lines. 1, 2 and 3. Second digit is 2. So after giving some space, draw 2 lines. Third digit is 1. So just draw one line and another digit is two so draw two lines again dividing in three equal zones this is zone number one this is zone number two and this is zone number three so let's start again one two three four number of crossings are four so last digit is four here number of crossings are one two three four five six seven and eight and here it is 1, 2, 3. So answer is 3, 8, 4. That's it. So now let's take a little more complex example. Let's say suppose 14 cross 23. So first digit is 1. So draw one line. Second digit is 4. So after giving some space. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. Third digit is 2. So draw two lines. 1 and 2. And last digit is 3. So draw 1, 2 and 3. Again dividing in 3 equal zones. Let's start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So this time these numbers are greater than 10. Now what to do if numbers are greater than 10? Then keeping last digit as it is here, move this one to here and add with number of dots or crossing here. Let's say once again here the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So if the number is greater than 9, then keeping last digit here Move this first digit here and add with this zone. Here number of in, uh, crossings are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So 1 plus 11 is 12. So here answer is once again 12. So apply same method. Keeping these two here, we are going to add 1 here. 
So here number of intersections are 1 and 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. That's it. Answer is 3, 2, 2. Means 3 double 2 is the answer. You can check by calculator. You all love this, right? So now let's take more complex example. Now I am taking three digits here. 3, 2, 1, cross 1, 3. Means 3, 21, cross 13. What's the answer? Apply the same method. First digit is 3. So draw number of lines. 3 number of lines. 1, 2, and 3. Second digit is 2. So after giving some space, draw 2 lines. And the last digit is 1. That's it. So 3, 2, 1, I have drawn 3, 2, 1 lines. Now, next one is 13, means the first digit is 1. So draw one line. And next digit is 3. So 1, 2, and 3 lines. So now we have to divide this into 4 equal zones. 4 this time. Zone number 1, this is zone number 2, this is zone number 3 and zone number 4. That's it. Apply the same method. 1, 2, 3. So here it is 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So 7. But here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So as I said previous one. Number is greater than 9, so it is 11. Now what we have to do? Number of intersections are 11. And keeping the last digit here, last digit 1 here. And move this number 1 to here. And add with these crossings. You see here 1, 2, 3. So 1 plus 3 is 4. The answer is... We have moved this one to here, then erase it, then the answer is one, sorry, four, one, seven, three. That's it. This is the easiest method for multiplication. So I hope you all love this method. And this method is very useful to everyone for entrance exam in which students are not allowed to use a simple calculator as well. Okay, thank you.